One really important aspect of building custom ROMs is occasionally you run into a situation, whether purposefully or by necessity, you'll need some sort of application that runs with super user permission. And you'll need this application to do something for you. Um, some good examples of this would be, for instance, um, kernel audiuter, which is used to control different portions of the kernel when you're making custom kernels that have overclocking available and you have uh, different uh, methods that you can use to change the input uh, or the I.O. schedulers and uh, different things like that. And that is really handy thing to have. Then you also have situations like which happened to uh, myself and a group that I was working with on AOSCP for um, the LG G4, we ran into a situation where there was a problem with the real daemon. Uh, that's the radio interface layer daemon, which is in charge of running the radio interface and making sure that that layer is working in conjunction with the ROM and with the chip on the phone. And uh, we'd run into a problem every now and then where uh, it would actually... Um, stop working properly and so you would need to run a command from the terminal that would do something for you to stop the real daemon and then start the real daemon again and then once again you would have uh, cellular connectivity like this little LTE um, up here. So you'll run into situations like that where you, you might either purposely want something that uh, can be controlled with super user control or you might um, have something that out of necessity needs super user permission uh, to do something. Now granted, I, I submit to you that uh, you would want to fix your ROM's problems so that way it actually worked without needing super user permission to do anything. However, there's a, a lot of benefits that you can uh, glean from having a little bit of super user permission to do a few things. And obviously a lot of people on XDA and, and abroad use things like Magisk, uh, SuperSU, and these other apps so they can control uh, some, some more of the finer points of their ROM and phone. So what I'd like to do is show you guys how to make a very basic, very simple app that has one or two buttons that by pushing this button it'll actually run some code uh, and, and we'll talk about what that means exactly but it'll run some code to do something with super user permission. And uh, so this will be a very, very simple um, very simple app that we're going to put together. This is not going to be uh, very in-depth, but hopefully it will be useful uh, to you as you work on things like, uh, you know, your your different ROMs and apps that you make. So um, perhaps uh, for yourself, uh, you've already got a few ideas of some things that you might want to run. Uh, with super user permission or perhaps you can uh, just see some ways this might be useful in the future and so hopefully this will be uh, instructive and helpful for you as well.